air brake test. Before conducting an air brake test, and you are with an instructor, chalk your wheels. Instruct the instructor that you have chalked your wheels before entering the cab. Tell the examiner before starting your air brakes test that you have a primary and a secondary gauge and that you will be given all readings from the primary gauge. Put on your seatbelt, reduce air pressure to approximately 75 psi and at this time tell the examiner you're going to perform your safe start. Push in the red trailer brake valve between 75 and 100 PSI to supply the trailer its air to the tanks. Let the truck build maximum air pressure. Identify the PSI where the governor cutout needle stops rising. Let the examiner know you are looking for the governor cutout to occur no higher, no higher than 140 psi. Shut off your engine. Push in the parking brake yellow valve on the dash. Trailer brake red valve is already released. Wait for the needles to stabilize. Turn the key on battery charge position without restarting the vehicle. Apply service brake foot pedal with steady pressure and wait for the needles to stabilize again. With the foot still on the pedal, tell the examiner where the needle has stabilized and start timing for one minute. Keep the same amount of pressure against the foot pedal throughout the whole test. After one minute, tell the examiner where the primary needle is at and you had any air loss. You cannot lose no more than 4 psi in one minute. Tell the examiner this is a good test. You did not lose no more than 4 psi in one minute. You need to give the PSI at the beginning of the minute, again, tell the examiner this is a good test and take your foot off the brake. After you tell the examiner why it's a good test, you can release your foot off from the brake and continue with your low air warning test. Reduce air pressure by pumping the service brake until your warning device or buzzer light activates. It will be on your dash. Low air will only activate when the key is on position, battery charge position. Identify the PSI on the primary gauge when the low air pressure warning activates and let them know this was a good test because the air, the low air warning activated above 55 PSI Spring brake test continue on to that do not stop after the 55 Begin reducing air pressure By repeatedly stepping on and off the service brake pedal until both the tractor and trailer brakes have popped out Identify the PSI on the primary gauge and let the examiner know this is a good test both brakes popped out between 20 and 45 psi. This concludes your brake test. Quotation. If the trailer valve pops out first and give that psi. Continue pumping until the parking brake pops out and give that psi. This concludes your air brake test. And good luck get a passing grade. If you feel this is helpful, please like and share and comment. Tell your friends so they can pass as well. Good luck out there and become a truck driver.